Hey guys, I think I finally got my audio working. <laughs> Bad cable, it'll get you every fucking time. I am going to play around with this Nissan here a little bit this here this afternoon. See if uh, if I can't get well, can't get some sort of a reaction out of this fuel gauge. As many of you uh, Nissan owners are aware. Uh, these things have a problem with the uh, fuel gauge fuel sending unit system area um, well <laughs> System let's put it that way. It's uh, it's pretty basic, but uh, well my uh, uh, My very specific problem here. I'm sure is somewhere up in the cluster and I've, I've got a check engine light on because of it uh, It's not a sending unit problem long since uh, replaced and tested thoroughly uh, there's no 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 issues going on there. Uh, we have a, a problem upstream in the system, and being uh, 2006, it is uh, well. She's a dinosaur. We're getting there, and it's getting pretty rough too. But uh, I, I want to get another hundred thousand out of it, give or take. Uh, I'm going to see about getting that check engine light off because I'm due for inspection at the end of this month. And with our state's uh, emissions laws, uh, it will not pass emissions with a check engine light. So I don't plan on fixing it per se. I am going to try my hand or at least uh, try succeed and maybe fail at, well, faking it until I make it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to try and trick the damn thing. And as long as the uh, ECU is... Uh, no longer throwing a check engine light, hey, it'll be fine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but uh, I got some information and uh, the rest of it I'm just going to have to uh, test and guess and reverse engineer and yeah, do a little shade tree, mechanic mechanic tree. Yeah, mechanic, yeah, whatever. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to set up here and we're going to get into it. What I'm going to try to do here first, anyway, try. Uh, I'm going to go back to the fuel pump, which is easy access. It's right underneath the back seat. <laughs> Fucking bugs. Uh, I'm going to try and radically change the resistance of the float uh, potentiometer, the uh, uh, fuel level sending unit, to be a little more precise. I'm going to radically alter its resistance using a potentiometer or a resistor or whatever I can find in my box of tricks and see if I can physically make the gauge move. I don't know if it's not sending enough power or enough current, but it's definitely not sending something that the uh, system is requiring to make this thing functional. And now, now the kicker is it, it does work a little bit. If you completely fill the tank, the gauge will max out. It will, it will rise. Uh, to its full level on, on the uh, cluster but uh, it'll drop to about a quarter and then it'll just stay there it won't move any further ever again until it's refilled and we've just uh, been filling the tank by mileage every 300 miles just fill the tank and you're good to go the car will do 400 on a full tank but hey don't risk it don't chance it 300 miles just fill it and call it a day so uh, yeah I'm gonna get this back seat out here real quick and uh, Kind of go from there. Excuse my reach. There's one. All right, I got my tools, and I got my tools, and I got my tools. So, uh, yeah, take this cover off here. Righty Lucy, lefty tighty. They're just locks, they're just quarter turn locks. And uh, Show you here once. 
life is so much easier when you have good information. I hope there's not too much of a glare here. Uh, I use all data. Uh, you, you can, yeah, right there it says it. Uh, this is a basic uh, resistance. Uh, position of the uh, sending unit and then what it should read resistance wise. And uh, I'm, I'm going to make it a little crazy. I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to throw a lot or a little at it one way or the other. You can basically short it, you know, take it to zero. And then you can go up to uh, whatever, 83. That'll still be uh, within spec for, uh, yeah, for hopefully making the gauge move. And hopefully just getting the gauge to move a little bit more out of its current position will hopefully be enough to turn the light off. I don't know, but uh, I thought this was pretty much the easiest, quickest way for me to, well, to get into it without really getting involved, because this will be easy if it works. But uh, all right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to back probe those pins and uh, yeah, take a reason, see what uh, see what it actually reads, because honestly, I I don't know. I don't know. This worked for a while. Uh, I replaced the fuel pump in it. I was good for, I don't know, six, eight months, something like that. And I got a check engine light. The fucking thing ran out of gas because the gauge stopped working. <laughs> oh, it was fun, I'm here to tell you. Uh, everybody needs one of these, uh, just little sewing pins. It's what you use for back probing. And or a paper clip, you know, you can do it that way too. I'm going to test it with uh, the circuit fully connected. And then I'm going to remove the uh, connector and, and just test the uh, actual sending unit itself. Huh. All right, uh, I was not getting any reading when I was back probing this, so I thought rather than kick myself in the nuts, I'll just pull it, verify where the pump is, and uh, I think you can see I've got 20 ohms, 20.9, 20. 20 point, whatever, 21 freaking ohms. <laughs> um, that is uh. Eh, that's probably eh, that's probably about two thirds of a tank full, and it'll change if I rock the car. See what I'm doing there? I sloshed the fuel around, so I know I'm on the send sending unit right out of the pump, and uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do? I've identified which two wires I need here. It's the green with black tracer and then the black on this end. I am going to uh, plug a potentiometer into that so I can literally dial in the amount of resistance that I want and I'm going to see if I can make the gauge change doing it that way. And uh, if I can, then, uh, well, <laughs> I'll decide what I'm going to do if it works. So. Uh, yeah, let me go get a potentiometer and yeah, round uh, round next. All right, uh, hey, kind of. I mean, I uh, hooked it back up. I got the car running now. You can probably hear it. Uh, I was able to get some action out of the uh, fuel gauge, and uh, well, it's not consistent, but I was able to. Uh, Go from the low fuel light being on to low fuel light being off and an ever so slight rise in the fuel level gauge on the uh, cluster eh, i'm just controlling it with this here potentiometer you know ain't nothing pretty got her hooked up with jumper wires and i'm just back probing that connector there um i have uh i have a sneaky suspicion 
this might get me by. <laughs> I, I don't know, but uh, it might. Uh, I'm going to clear the codes and yeah, we're going to have to see what we see. But uh, here, let me take you up front and show you real quick here. Whilst. I think you can see the gauge, maybe not. Yeah, something like that. Um, it moved. It's uh, now well above full. Was sitting at about a quarter when I started. So it has changed its state. And uh, I don't know if that's going to be good enough, but uh, uh, I'm going to plug in here with my. Uh, a scanner and uh, lap, uh, laptop, the, uh, my tablet, and uh, clear the codes and see what happens once. <laughs> I, uh, I just cleared the codes and uh, no good. That only took seconds. That uh, fucking bees. That light popped right back on. Let's take a look, see here once. I'm sure it's just gonna be fuel level sending unit. Hopefully you can see this, kind of. Yeah, fuel tank level sensor to low and uh, Fuel tank level sensor too low. Two codes for the same thing. Wonderful. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to try and uh, well tweak this potentiometer a little bit. Once I uh, play with it a little bit more, I'll, I'll come back with a status report. Well. I've been sitting here idling for a little while. I do apologize for this glare. Um, not a lot of I can do about it, uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully you can see down in there. I got this cage on this thing. I hope you can see it. Fuel level gauge is still in a different position yet again, um, showing like, well, whatever, three quarters of a tank two-thirds somewhere in that ballpark so far <laughs> got my fingers crossed so far no CEL check engine light so far um, I'm going to go back here once try another quick read to see if there's anything pending no check engine light behave yourself Nissan Still nothing. Now, I was thinking this was going to work, but I don't, I don't know how permanent of a fix it's going to be. It's not a fix; it's a band-aid, um, just to uh, because I don't plan on getting that fixed or replaced. There's something wrong with the cluster up in here. I am positive of it. Um, I was hoping if I make a big enough resistance state change, that I will be able to inadvertently affect this check engine light issue um, now I don't know how long it's gonna last um, miles will, and time will tell the story here but yeah, there ain't nothing more I can do with her I am going to uh, loosely here let, let me show you I'm gonna go back here and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do all right the uh... <laughs> yeah it sucks. Hey, what are you going to do? I'm going to... Where the hell is my pot? There it is. I'm going to leave it in its current position. And I'm just going to... Crudely tape it. I'm going to keep those... I'm going to leave those... Uh, hopefully you can see down in there. I'm going to leave those... Uh, well, whatever. Those sewing pins in the back. And I'm going to... Uh, connect these wires directly to them and just drive it for a while uh, note the difference if any hopefully it stays uh 
well behaved like well like you saw with no check engine light uh if not well then well i'm gonna have to get into it a little deeper a little further but uh for quick and dirty for yeah for quick and dirty uh, i don't care if the light comes back on after the car is inspected but it's got to uh yeah it's never going to pass emissions with a, a, a check engine light on so that was the whole point and purpose of this project here um like i said we're just going to put some miles on it now i'm going to clean up this mess and uh yeah put her out there and uh, see what happens yeah you know what i changed my mind i'm going to take two little pins like yay and uh, i measured the resistance of this i currently have this set at 339 ohms that seems to uh well at least it appears to be making the uh, uh system happy no check engine light so this was 339 the potentiometer uh this is 326 just a simple resistor i'm going to solder a resistor to these pins and yeah it's a whole lot easier to fit this under that cover than it is to rather you know crudely and and whatnot tape this thing up and eh, just just gonna make a fucking mess this no mess at all never even know it's there so um just because i can i'm gonna use this handy dandy uh butane soldering iron here i think you guys have seen this before well if you haven't uh go check it out this thing's pretty freaking awesome i'm very happy with it uh certainly can't complain All right, holes. And yeah, does it have any gas? That is the question. Yeah. Let's throw it up. Lots of heat coming off of that. Hey. Well, that's warming up. It's quick and simple here. Give it the old wrap. Something like that, huh? I think that'll do. Good enough, well enough. Hmm. Here. Oh, lose my fucking ass if it wasn't attached. Uh. That's uh, crazy hot. It's probably too hot. It stinks anyway. Blimo. I fucking love this thing. All right, that's uh, Presto Kitchen Magic. I like that. I like it like that. Didn't even melt the uh, tips. All right, time to go insert pin in, into a uh, connector and bend it nicely. I mean, that's going to fit nice. No harm, no foul with that one. 
All right, let's go out there and put this in. I thought just real quick here, give a show and tell. It's on the bottom side. Connector goes in like yay. Um, it's on the bottom side. It'll only be up against plastic. No chance of shorting out. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a whole lot nicer looking than that big ugly potentiometer and mess of wires and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah. I just plug her in like yay. Pins are in there. Let me help. There you go. Come on, check that out. The uh, sheath pretty much fits over it. Set that down. Just to make sure, make certain here that uh, I'm not, well, dropping anvils on toes here. Let's fire this up and just verify. I can't see it on the screen. Can you see? Okay, damn, I can see it. Yeah. When it was fucked, it would throw the light right away. So, uh, I'm thinking we're still good. I hope so. Like I said, um, just got to put some miles on it now and make sure that it holds so yeah all right um that'll be the end of it cheers